Hey, Canucks fans. Happy Canada Day. We have a couple of UFA signings to announce on this first day of free agency. My lovely wife, Gail, is driving. Hi. We're on our way to a, a baptism, but I knew that I'd probably have to vlog, so Gail is driving, and I'm going to sit here and try not to make you car sick. The first one, defenseman Ian Cole coming over from the Tampa Bay Lightning. One year, $3 million. We know that he has some experience working, being with Jim Rutherford, Patrick Alvin, Rick Tockett, two Stanley Cups in Pittsburgh about a decade ago, but now reunited here in Vancouver. And he was a stalwart for the Tampa Bay Lightning, especially on their penalty kill. Made up a lot of minutes on the back end. 34 years old, so I'm really glad that the Canucks actually got him for only one year. One year, $3 million. We heard this, we had been hearing this $3 million mark for the last little while, but to get him for only one year and then kind of uh, see where he goes from there, especially given his age, I think this is a win for the Vancouver Canucks. He can play both left side and right side, and depending on what happens with Carson Soucy and other potential free agent targets, we'll see where Ian Cole ends up. But like I said, $3 million, only one year, and I consider this a win for the Vancouver Canucks. They do have the cap space, given the buyouts of OEL, who signed in Florida, by the way, and uh, just making sure that we're okay on that left turn. <laughs> uh, OEL, the OEL money, some LTR money, so the Canucks still have more room to play with. So by Ian Cole, one year, three million dollars I think a great signing by the Canucks an even better signing by the Canucks center Teddy Bluger he could be the answer the Canucks answer to the third line center problem he comes over from the Vegas Golden Knights after four years in Pittsburgh four and a half seasons in Pittsburgh and then half a season or the last bit of the season and the playoffs with Vegas Teddy Bluger comes over uh, also a one-year contract and this one is one point nine million dollars I think that's good. That's uh, under two is, is, is excellent. So they get these two players for 4.9 total. Bluger had 16 points last year in a combined 60 or so games between Pittsburgh and Vegas. He's 28 years old. He's turning 29 in August. And like I said, most importantly, he's going to be, I think the Canucks are going to try him out as our third line center behind Pedersen and Miller. He was a second round draft pick by the Penguins back in the day. So he's got a bit of a pedigree. And yeah, he's carved out a nice little a career for him he's not gonna yeah i don't think he scored more than 30 points in a season but you don't really need that from a third line center you need a penalty killing ability you need someone who can win draws someone who's responsible defensively and that frees up your your more offensively gifted players to to take advantage of some matchups so once again ian cole one year three million teddy bluger one year 1.9 million what's the common dominator only one year deals for both these guys i think uh, patrick alvin and jim rutherford are being smart they're not signing anyone long term, knowing that the cap's going to go up hopefully after the end of next season, and then you can reassess everything from there. Gosh, this road bumpy, but that's okay. So, once again, Ian Cole, Teddy Bluger, the start of the Canucks free agency day. I'll check in a little bit more. Let me know what you think. I'll check in later if there's any more news, but let me know what you think of these two signings. Put in the comments below. I'd love to read, react, and reply as always. Shout out to my sponsors, Vancey Experts Real Estate, Perform and Transform Personal Training Weight Loss. Thank you, legendary Lucas Gates, legendary Carol Bovlander, legendary Andrew Chang, Hall of Famer franchise members as well. And thanks to all of you. Always appreciate you. Never take you for granted. Subscribe, like the video, leave a tip, become a member, upgrade your membership, and leave a comment with your thoughts on these two signings for the Vancouver Canucks. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves and take care of each other, and happy Canada Day. God bless, and go Canucks go.